This question is from Nico Hilsensauer. Hey man, absolutely love your videos. Great content, very transparent and informative. Thank you. My question, what do you think the launch price of Pulse and Pulse X will be post bridge? And even more important, what X's would be realistic in your opinion? I know you hate making <laughs> price predictions, but you are well educated and I am interested in your opinion. The reason I ask, Everyone is talking about a 10,000 X, but if Pulse and Pulse X do a 30 X straight off the bat, even to only get another 100 X, these assets need to make a 3000 X from sack price. To me, it feels like only the people who sacrificed can get crazy X's. But what can the average guy who buys in after launch expect? 20 X, 50 X, 100 X? When it comes to time frame, I would only focus on the next bull run. Let's make it easy and say three years from now. This would at least be the top according to the four year cycle. Thanks in advance and sorry for the hell of a long comment. Oh, don't be sorry. And that's a great comment and a great question. In many respects, I'm actually in the same boat as you. While I got in on the Pulse X sacrifice, I actually missed the Pulse Chain sacrifice. Obviously, the product hasn't launched and there's a lot of hype and there is no way for you to buy it. So there is this kind of feeling that you're not in control. You're not in control. By the time it comes out, everyone's going to know and you're behind the curb. You are going to be getting astronomical higher prices than everyone else. Yeah, like you said, I don't like price predictions and there's a reason for that. Price is something is very complicated. There are a lot of variables that go into what makes the market swing in a certain way. For example, you look at inflation, right? That forces the Fed to go risk off and then raise rates and drive the prices down. When you look at a chart or, you know, a certain time frame, do you know what inflation is going to be? This is this is something that actually I heard from Peter Lynch. He said, I wish I could predict interest rates, but I can't. Even the chairman of the Federal Reserve, who at that time was Alan Greenspan, would not be able to predict the interest rates. If you'd ask Alan Greenspan what the interest rate's going to be in a couple months, he wouldn't be able to tell you because it's dependent on things that are beyond his in our control. So, I mean, there's that. You obviously had the war with Russia and Ukraine. That affects markets. We don't know how that's going to play out. And then there are political factors. I know, I know it bothers people. I don't want to go out there and throw out price predictions. And frankly, I I probably would be getting a lot more views had I done that because people like to hear your price prediction it gets people this hopium, especially at a time like this. But it's not really appropriate because if I give price predictions, people are going to act according to that. And there's no way of knowing what it's going to be, meaning people are going to wait for certain price points in order to start selling and taking profits because they believe that what I predict is going to become true. So I take what I say very seriously. And being that there's just no way in the world to uh, properly predict I don't like to give price predictions. I just think it's very silly. And at the in the long run, it ends up hurting you more than it ends up helping you. So what I could tell you is that I believe in cryptocurrency and I believe that Richard Hart's projects, meaning Hex, Pulse Chain and Pulse X are the best projects and will get you the best ROI. And it will happen in due time. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is that that these are the projects that I'm investing in. And I'm not doing it blindly. I really think I've considered all the factors, you know, the founder, the product market fit, the game theory and all those things. And I really believe that you're saying that the reason I ask is everyone is talking about a 10,000 X. If you actually watch my uh, previous video, um, can Pulse Chain, Pulse X do a 10,000 X in under two years? I don't believe that's going to happen. And uh, obviously, I don't know it's possible. I know in crypto, the unexpected is often what ends up happening. But just based on the fact that, for example, the reason why Hex was able to do a 10,000 X was because it started off with 5,000 wallets. I mean, that's not a lot of sell pressure. And that does give it a lot of upward potential in comparison with Pulse Chain, which is starting off with 36,000, which is a lot more than Hex, which did the 10,000 X in under two years. And then you got Pulse X, which, start, which is starting off with I believe 125,000 wallet sacrifice. So I don't think you're getting a 10,000 X in two years, but I do think I do think there is a good possibility of getting a 10,000 X in both projects over seven to 10 years. And that's insane. OK, I mean, I'm not going to count out a 10,000 X under two years, but I, I'm not going to uh, act as if that's going to happen. I think also if you are acting as if it's going to happen or if you're acting as if, you know, maybe it's not going to do 10,000 X, but it's going to do something else. You are going to find yourself timing the market. And when you time the market, you always lose. I experienced 50, 60 X's and those are insane. Those get you emotional. You're going to see yourself in like six figures and then see that crash 80 percent. You're not going to know what to do. You're just going to likely end up getting out, maybe in some profits, but in a bad position. You have to extend your time frame.
you're saying the next three to four years, you cannot think of getting out within two, three years and getting those thousands of X's. I mean, it's possible, but I think coming in with that mindset is, is definitely a losing strategy, in my opinion. And none of this is financial advice. So you're saying if it does a 30 X straight off the bat. OK, so I don't like timing the market and I don't like price predictions, but <laughs> the likelihood of a 30 X is extremely, extremely low in my opinion. And even though I don't like timing the market and, and I really want to buy Pulse Chain, if Pulse Chain launches at a 30X from the sacrifice, I will be very hesitant to buy. Maybe I dollar cost average a little just to get my feet wet. The liquidity is going to be low. You're going to have to price out into stable coins, which need to be bridged in. So that liquidity is not being copied over onto PulseX. So in order to get your returns, you're going to be looking at low liquidity. If you're at a 30X, that means that the whales that got the bonus multiplier are at a 60X, which is a lot. Even if these people want to sell a little bit, the price is going to go down like crazy. I think it's very unlikely it's going to get there. And if it does get there, that would be probably the craziest price movement in the history of crypto, honestly. And I think realistically, if let's say we're still in a tight Federal Reserve policy environment where the interest rates just keep going up uh, to fight inflation, I think we could launch below the sacrifice price. I think it's possible. I still think it's unlikely, but it's possible. I think realistically, you're looking at maybe a 1.5 to 3x of launch. Um, and I think that Pulse Chain could realist. I mean, if Phantom did over a thousand X, I believe. I think uh, I think it's realistic to see Pulse Chain looking at maybe a thousand, one point five thousand X. Um, I wouldn't expect it, and I certainly wouldn't try to time it. But I think that's something realistic. So I mean, if you get in, you could be getting a five six hundred X, which is insane. Okay, that's insane. I mean, if you're not happy with that, <laughs> I don't know what you're happy with. Pulse X, um, we could be looking at between three to six hundred X. But obviously, I don't know. I mean, it could do less because there's a lot of wallets, and it could also do more because because there's great game theory. Richard Hart's an excellent founder. By the time PulseX launches, I think a lot of people that didn't know about it now and didn't know about it during the sacrifice phase are going to know about it and they're going to want to get in. So I don't know. A lot of this, this is dependent on market conditions, but I do think market conditions will improve. It's just a matter of time. Uh, the market always goes up over time. If you understand the economics, you understand the current monetary system we're in, you know why that happens. But uh, that's for a different video or for someone else to explain. So what can the average guy who buys in after launch expects 20, 50, 100 X? Listen, I think you're going to get more than a 50, 100 X. But even if that's all you get, that is insane. If you get that in three, four years, that is insane. I don't think you should be expecting to have an early retirement. I, I tell everybody, if you're looking to cash out and you're in a position where you don't have a lot of cash and you don't have money in safer investments, basically your entire net worth is put into an asset that could crash 90, 95%, you're not going to make it. I mean, you're not going to be able to stomach the volatility. Taking profits is important when you're up 50, 100, 150 you're going to have to take profits, but you shouldn't be looking at selling more than 10 to 20 percent of your bag. And you should be working. You should be generating income to take care of yourself, to have enough cash to last the next year at least. And you should be maxing out your retirement account. I think uh, I think if you do those things, you will be in a position where you're able to stomach the volatility and reap the benefits of these multiples that I think are going to be very high in the future. That's that's what I'd say about that. So, Nico, thank you for your question. And uh, to summarize, I'd say I think the likelihood of a launch at 30x the sacrifice rate is insane, pretty much impossible. And if it happens, I would be very cautious of buying in. We both missed the pulse chain sacrifice. You missed the pulse X sacrifice. But I still think that you can get exposure to hundreds of X's from pulse chain, pulse X, as well as hex, which I think a good time to be buying and staking is now. I think you should widen your time horizon. You should not be looking at the next two to three years. You should be looking over the next 10 to 15 years. Not saying you shouldn't take profits, but you should still still have exposure to most of your original investment, having enough cash to take care of yourself and setting aside at least the maximum 6000 that you could put into your IRA or Roth IRA is imperative and being able to stomach the volatility. I don't think it's healthy nor possible to do it with uh, putting your entire net worth in an asset that crashes 90%. Thank you for your question. And I hope this was insightful. Keep a level head. I believe strongly that these projects are going to do very well, not financial advice. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to check out my other videos and uh, make sure you give the video a like, subscribe, and of course, follow me on Twitter.